Okay, you're back. So now we're gonna talk about the next two personal power zones, and I'm really excited for this. I want you to make sure that you have about 10 or 15 minutes, maybe even 20 minutes at the end of this, that you can um, really sit back, close your eyes, lay down, um, be in a comfortable spot, in a private spot, because we're gonna be doing some integration work. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna show you this hug. This is an experience that you're more than welcome to come back to many, many, many times, and I hope that you do. So, let's talk about your vibe. So the vibration, the vibe, is something that you, um, you, know, you feel with others. So you know when like your best friend walks into a room and you're like, Oh, hi, excellent. I totally love the fact that you're here, but what's wrong? Something's, something's wrong. What's going on with you? You can just feel that something's off, that they're not at the top of their game. They're not feeling great. Well, that is your vibe. This is also a part of your reality bubble. So you know those people that are constantly complaining? Like they bond over the complaints in life. They're draining to be around. Um, I used to be one of those people. I was like, I was constantly talking about the negative and what was happening in my life and blah, 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 blah. And it was like, ugh. Um, and for me, it was a way for me to be really safe in, in my environment. But it also made me really attract negative experiences into my life. So I had to flip this switch. And there's two things I'm going to share with you today to flip the switch for yourself. And both of them are really powerful and will really bring an effective blow to um, any habits that you might have of dwelling in the past, dwelling in negativity, and believing that the world is a more negative place than a positive place. I understand that you've been sold on this idea, especially if you're a survivor of abuse and you've had to deal with it and walk through it and maybe it's perpetuated a couple times. Maybe you've had a, you know, you had a bad childhood and then you married into another bad relationship and they were a little bit better, but not really. And then you got a divorce and you married into another bad relationship and it just sucks. Maybe you went through childhood abuse and then you married an abuser and your kids had to go through it and the duh, and you're like, Egh. and how, how do you stop that perpetual dealing? This is why we're here, right? To end that cycle. And this is how you do it. <laughs> this is so key because your vibration is really what you put out into the world and what we reap is what we sow and the law of attraction maybe you've heard of this the um the law of cause and effect is another piece and there's also the law of opposites or polar opposites polarity and we're going to just talk a tiny bit about each so the law of attraction is literally like the vibration, the energy, where you give your attention that goes out into the world, good or bad, no judgment from the world, and then that's drawn back to you. So those experiences you get. So if you're focusing on your complaints, what you don't like about the government, what you don't like about the world, what you don't like about your body, what you don't like about your best friend, what you don't like about the girl down the street, what you don't like about church, what you don't like, right? then you're going to just notice more of those don't likes. And you can probably look around your life if this is you or your friend, and you're going to be like, oh, yeah, totally, totally. You know those people that go to a restaurant that complain about weight service everywhere? They always have bad weight service. <laughs> this is the law of attraction. The law of cause and effect is this. We are a cause to our friends and our family. You have to take responsibility for whatever you are causing. So if you're causing that um, complaining, and I'm just using complaining as an example because this is the, this is the, the challenge we're going to have here in this journey. But say you are the cause of complaining or gossiping, and you can own this. You can own this cause, and, but for better or worse, even if you're complaining to make a change, what you're causing is like negative energy. You're causing that ugh, for somebody else to get upset, get on board with you, pick it, uh, 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 um, complain about the husband, complain about the wife. It, it is, that's the cause. And how it's affecting the world around you is they're getting on board or they're shunning you away, depending on who you're around. 
And you know, maybe that's not at all. Maybe your cause is you're really positive and you're upbeat and you're driven and you're go-getter. So I see two people that have walked through abuse. One is super, super positive and absolute get it done. I can do anything. I'll do anything for anybody. And they burn on both ends, right? Both ends of the spectrum. You're the yes girl, the yes guy, because if you didn't say yes, then you'd get in trouble, right? Or there are the people that fought back and you rebelled and, um, you know, you rebelled against yourself. You like her and you're like, and I'm going to change everything. And you're, you know, could even be doing it in a positive way by, by going out and picketing and standing up and fighting the battle and being part of the fight. But still, when we fight something, it fights back. And still, when we lay down and we do everything for everybody, we can be walked on and we were burnt out and we're stressed out. So no matter which place you are, maybe you're somewhere in between. I don't know, right? I'm going to talk to I'm going to talk to you to try to just explain how we're going to shift this a little bit. So you have the cause, you are the cause, and you're affecting the world in some way. We can also be affected, and we get to choose and have responsibility for how we are affected by the cause of somebody else. And this really gets into a deeper place of psychology, but what we're going to do today is just shift the cause that you're being so you affect people in a more powerful, positive way from your own place of responsibility, all right? For the other part, how you're allowing people to affect you, you're gonna notice this, this is gonna bring up more awareness in you, gonna give you more power to then choose if you really wanna be around that, or if you wanna choose to leave the situation, taking your power back as you walk through this journey on your own. And we can go deeper into it, like in the Amazing You program, or through the um, information and sponsorships there at your own university as well, and our monthly membership to really help you just have this fun. But for today, we're just going to focus on that. Then there's the opposite. So if you have been through a life where you have been, you know, usually the people that I know that are really driven and go getters, like nobody knows that they're suffering inside, and they go home and they just ball. They're so tired. They're so worn out. They just want some time for themselves. Urgh. And then the people that are angry and out there, they're not hiding anything. They're out there. They're doing it. They're fighting the good fight. But they too aren't you know, very happy, right? There's not a happiness to us as, as survivors because sometimes when you get really happy, you get noticed. And when you get noticed, you get abused. This has just been common for the thousands of people that I've helped and talked to over the years. Um, I hope that this relates to you. If it doesn't, please be responsible and put it into the right context so you can get the gist of what I'm saying. So this is the polar opposite thing. If you've been really depressed or really angry, you have that same capability of being really happy. If you felt like a complete failure, you have that same capability of jumping up the scale and being a complete success, right? That same awesomeness. So instead of looking at how down and out you've been and how can you possibly overcome that, look at that as a place to jump and leap from to that same height of joy and love and peace because we're going to get you above the vibration into love and all the way up through enlightenment to really say yes to being who you are. And here are your two tips on how to do that. I would like you to take a rubber band. Okay. Everything that I'm going to teach you is basically free. <laughs> I'm not going to make you go out and buy anything, right? So you can take a rubber band. I'll take them off my uh, things here or a hair tie and put it here. And then every time that you catch yourself complaining, that's why I was talking about it, complaining about anything for the next 21 to 30 days, you're just going to change it to the other side. Okay. You can also snap, but I think this is kind of rude to yourself. 
I don't like that. It, it made me feel like I was punishing myself. And that goes against everything that we're teaching here. So I just started switching it back and forth. And this is the no complaining thing. Now, does that mean that you can't complain um, or have a problem with something? Absolutely not. What it means though is as you shift from one side to the other, instead of bitching about it, you can then take your power back and choose what you want to do about it. So say um, you know you had an argument with your boyfriend or your spouse or, or your friend. And you go to another friend and you just need to get it off your chest, right? And you're like, she does this or he does that and da 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 I can't believe those people in the checkout line did this. Sorry, excuse my voices. So instead of doing that, you'll go, he does, and you'll go, oh, excuse me. You'll change it. You mean, you know what? When I just went through a situation that really hurt my heart. And you can actually ask yourself, what am I feeling? Instead of complaining and projecting and blaming, you're going to take your power back, figure out what emotion that you're actually feeling, feel that emotion, which ends the fight, which means that what you resist will no longer persist because you're no longer resisting it. This is super, super deep and super, super powerful. I'm not giving you things that are going to band-aid and cover up your stuff. I'm helping you jump into freedom here. This is super responsibility for you, okay? So you just change it when you're about to grump, and then you say, you know what? I just really felt like eating that chocolate cake today. I know that I have a problem with the 15 pounds that I've been trying to lose, but I really just wanted that chocolate cake today. And so, you know, I've decided I'm going to go on an extra walk. Instead of complaining about yourself and what you did wrong. I'm just going to change it back and forth. This will allow you to give some awareness to what you're feeling, which will allow you to receive and accept how you're feeling and choose what you're going to do about it. Really powerful. And it totally up levels your conversation with everybody around you takes the blame off of others in the outside world and gives you responsibility for your own reality because the truth of the matter is is we are all responsible for our own reality and the effect that we have on the world all right so that's number one that's your vibration that's your tool there's nothing else that's that's big right that's big now i want to invite you to sit back and we're going to go into your soul zone this hug is something I learned when I was 13. It is based off of a meditation and um, some hypnotherapy that I went through. Just a bit about my story. If you don't know my story, I was um, you know, abused sexually and physically. And my abuse started at 18 months old, and I walked, I walked through that. Um, it was off and on. It was sporadic. It, you know, there was bad times, there was good times, there was like the whole, the whole bit. Um, but by the time I was 13, when I did end the cycle of abuse in my family that I have, that's when I really committed to this mission, okay, almost 30 years ago, to this mission of ending the cycle of abuse. I, I immediately was blessed with meeting people that helped me to reclaim my own independence beyond the story. Now, I latched onto it for many years. I suffered with it for many years. Um, I didn't have me to turn to specifically. So I went and gathered pieces, pieces of information and pieces of myself. And when it really boiled down to it, this process that I'm now going to walk you through is what brought all the pieces of the puzzle that is Antique Alicia back together, helped me claim myself, helped me come back into my physical health. I was sick for many years, helped me come back into my mental health. I was sad and depressed and telling myself negative stories for many years and helped me come back into the vibration of, of light that people see in the world. I mean, people see me as a shining light and, and they witness that and they tell me that all the time. Thank you so much for shining your light. And I honestly believe is this practice. I do this practice 
every day, morning and night. Sometimes I do it in a zap, like three minutes and it's done. Um, sometimes I do it for two hours. It really varies. I'm gonna give you something in between to do. Please um, just welcome this experience and absolutely love it. I'm gonna do it in a separate video so you don't have to um, scan through this one. So it's right there below. And you can also find these hugs, different hugs, cutting cords and doing some major healing that I did on blog talk radio forwards.com forward slash your own university radio. And you can look up hugs. So blog talk radio.com forward slash your own university radio hugs and you can get a whole bunch of them they're absolutely my gift to you but today what we're going to be doing is marrying and reseeding your soul the very essence that is you this is the part of you that is, is and always has been this is the part of you that you don't have to try to be there is no proving there's no fixing there's nothing wrong it's divine health it's well-being it is you and the you that that is forever and ever more that's divinely created and divinely made it is divinely you and so it is my pleasure to walk you through this so go ahead and go to the video um, right below here and join me please um, you know, be in a quiet place if you have headphones go into headphones we're gonna have our eyes closed this is a very personal experience and thank you so much for joining me and letting me walk you through it God bless and I'll talk to you in a few minutes bye